Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see hosting a web application with Azure App Service. We all know Azure App Service enable us to build and host web applications in the programming languages of our choice without managing infrastructure. So in this video, we will learn how to create a website through the hosted web app platform in Azure App Service. So let's take a scenario. Imagine that you're building a website for a new business or you're running an existing web app on an aging on-premises server. Setting up a new server can be challenging. You need appropriate hardware like a server level operating system and a web hosting stack. And once it's running, you need to maintain the server. And what happens if your website traffic increases? Then you may need to invest in additional hardware. Hosting your web application using Azure App Service makes deploying and managing a web app much easier when compared to managing a physical server. So to start with, we will create an Azure App Service. So for that, I'm going to log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, so I've activated my sandbox. Let me refresh it. You can also do that by going on to Microsoft Learn. And if you have a subscription, you would get the sandbox environment like this, Microsoft Learn Sandbox. Click on it. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on Create a Resource. And I am going to select If you don't see, like if you see all here on the marketplace, right, and you can go to the web, and then you can select an app service plan or an app service. So if you would type in app service, or you can type in web app. here you will see it if I do see more you see web app for containers web service API management where is the app or I can correctly go here and web app or if you see this app services here right click create then create an app service like this okay so the subscription I'm gonna go with concierge because that is activated by Microsoft uh, sandbox and in the drop down I see the already configured resource group you can create new one in your subscription and uh, in the name you can enter a unique name here mm. okay so dot as your websites dot net in the publish, I'm going to go with code for the runtime stack. I'm going to go with .NET Core 3.1. Okay. Operating system, I'm going to go with Linux. Region, I'm going to go with Central US. An app service plan, I'm going to go with the default. SKU. I'm going to change it to F1. This one. Apply. Deployment. So this is the basic information that you put. Left every, leave everything as default. And click on create. submitting the deployment so the portal shows the deployment pan as you see here now okay and uh, here we can see the status of the deployment the deployment is still in progress so after the deployment successfully completes for the app I will click on go to resource and the portal will show up my app that I have created Okay, my deployment is complete. I'm going to click on go to resource. Okay. See this app. 
and uh, if you click on the URL it will give you the default page here okay and uh, <clears throat> it will load and now if you want to prepare the uh, web application code you can bootstrap a web application now that we have created the resources for deploying the web application we have to prepare the code we want to deploy there are many ways to bootstrap a new web application so what we'll see here may be different to what you are used to the goal is to quickly provide you a starting point to deploy the web app okay so how do we add the code okay we add this code to the source control so let us write the code as well so let me so first of all let's install the appropriate version of the dotnet into the cloud shell for this i will have to launch the cloud shell here okay i am going to let's see how it goes okay it's installing and doing it it's the wget command here okay extracting the zip from this url Hey, yar. All right. I will run mm, I'm going to reload this, okay? Restart my cloud shell. I don't know why it gets stuck every now and then. Let it restart. Mm. Let's see. dot net new mvc name i'm going to name this so this will create a new asp.net core mvc application named best bike app okay it will create this command will create a new folder best bike app to hold our project Okay now if you want to test the web app and if i do shell dot as your dot com if i want to test it how will i'm going to do it i'm going to launch another window i'm going to write shell dot as your dot com it will open up the cloud shell i'm going to select bash okay it picked up my default subscription let me do this i'm going to launch the cloud shell here do this and i would do cd best bike app and i would do dot net run mm. okay i'll do dot net run inside this you see this information Okay the output describes the situation after starting the app the application is running and listening to port 5000 right now if i go back here and i do do open up the duplicate kit tab again and i launch this 
do this and if I do curl I want to one five thousand so I see the HTML appear right so this is the curl request that I am getting of the app that I have deployed so now if I want to deploy the same code to the app service one thing that I, that I can use is the automated deployment so automated deployment or continuous integration is a process used to push new features and bug fixes in a fast and repetitive pattern with minimal impact on the end users so as your supports automated deployment directly from several sources you can use as your devops you can use github you can use bitbucket onedrive dropbox if you want to see the same thing uh, let me do control c here to stop the app okay you come here minimize it you go to resource You see this deployment center. And you can deploy using all the centers that are available. And if you want to use manual deployment, you can use Git, you can use CLI, you can use dip, zip deploy, var deploy, Visual Studio, FTP or FTPS okay now let's say we want to deploy with zip deploy right so what i do this i go here i do this and i do cd okay i'm inside this best bike app folder and I do .NET publish o -B -U -B. okay then I do inside the folder pub folder and I zip the content zip and star Right, so I finally will perform the deployment with AZ Web App Deployment command and uh, would do the deployment on the app. Okay. Okay, so if I do AZ Web App Deployment source is the config dash zip and my source would be site dot zip resource group would be uh, let me paste it okay and the name of my app sir let me remove this it should deploy it Mm -hmm. like this okay, so you should only use the name not the full name so it is starting the zip deployment so it will take a while I got the code 202 here okay 
this will take a while okay this is done and if you want to verify the url you can go to Azure website this azure.azurewebsites.net should browse see I'm not getting the default page I'm getting a buy cap page right and if you would go here so you build the package you created uh, the zip folder for all the files and then you deploy it this using convex and if you would see this Mm, you see the configuration you can change it right so you you, you saw right how uh, we did this I hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video Thank you. Have a good day.